Oh, I should have put my shorts on for this guy. I got my pants. What? Oh, I heard a little rip. <laughs> you do that? You do that so good. God dang! <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I'm gonna pee right here. Hey, I found one. It's not alive anymore. Watch your hands too. Barnacles will cut you up. Whoo! What a freaking hike. It's kind of fun though. Well, there is crap everywhere. So. What's up? So you're just using shrimp? Yep. Let's throw it in there, ladies. See it? Oh, got you. Ah. Oh, that's. Oh, that. That is big. <laughs> Damn. That's what you're saying. I couldn't hear what you're saying. Can we just let him go? What do you think? I think it's too small. All right. Cool fish though, man. What's up, guys? I am out. I am out here on the jetty out in Winchester Bay. I'm out here with my good buddy, Brian and David. And we're uh, going after some kelp greenling and whatever else bites out here. I'm excited. Brian has never uh, fished off a jetty. I hope to get him on his first kelp greenling, one of my first kelp greenlings, and just a first jetty fish in general. We started the morning with some uh, surf fishing, which went pretty well. That was his first uh, time doing surf fishing too, so we knocked out two of his first today, which awesome. Feels good. Fun to watch someone catch a uh, different kind of fish for the first time, and I am getting back into surf fishing. I'm definitely getting the most out of the Oregon coast before it gets too cold and wet out here. So this is exciting, I'm gonna get out, got the GoPro on and we're gonna get out there and catch some fish, let's do it. I mean, you can cast out too like James, dude. You can cast them all out. That one? Oh, that was hitting me in the face. No, I just got stuck, I guess. First kelp greenling ever. This thing is super cool. It's got like a blue mouth. That's awesome. My camera died, of course, but I only got my first jellyfish. Kelp greenling from the GoPro point of view. Super cool fish. That made oh, right there. there? Huh? Yeah, those are neat. Oh yeah, dude, that's that looks good. Oh, <laughs> pulled you by your head. Oh, watch this next one too, Brian. Oh god, that one's bigger. Oh, god. oh quill back. Where's that copper? <laughs> That one. <laughs> Dude, watch those spines, man. Those are yeah, those are gnarly. Damn. <laughs> watch them chunk me down here, in the here, face. Let me get a smaller. It almost looks like a bass, dude. <laughs> For real. Oh, dude, look at this wave coming in. Everywhere, but like that specific spot, I was like trying to cast. Got him? Yeah. 
I knew I was getting bit. Oh, dude, that one's pretty. Yeah, I'm telling you, the collars on him, they are crazy. <laughs> there we go, another kelp gray leg. Yeah, look at the blue on that. That's why I love big uh, ling cod, because they have the blue. What do you think, too small? I think that's perfect. Like, that's like a perfect little panfish. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Go right up. Fish? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's a fatty. <laughs> Look at the collars on these, dude. Nice. All right, guys, I am almost limited out. I got three right now. I'm going to show you what we're using. So I'm going to show you what I'm using real quick. I have 50 pound main line, right? 50 pound braid main line, and then I'm doing a just regular surf perch kind of set up its three dropper loops and size two let me show you three dropper loops like that with a size two bait holder and then we're just using uh, raw shrimp and that's all casting out there letting it sit and they're whacking it so it's going pretty well uh, this is the lucky cast right here Watch where he is. He's gonna come up here soon. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 ah, careful! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one. Yes! You called it? I called it. I was like, this is it, man. <laughs> Dude, I like that little clam bag. I caught a whale, bro. A whale? Yep. Oh, you got him out? Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. Let him go down. Ooh. That's a crazy thing. Yeah. Woo! That's a good one. There we go, another Cap Greenling. Dude, I held him up like this and my finger went up his butt. <laughs> All right, kelp greenling. This is what we've been catching today. It's pretty good size. It's so loud. Sweet, that makes about five of them. Woo! Oh! Holy crap! Holy crap. Pig, bruh. So who's them. eating the uh, seaweed? <laughs> I forgot to record an outro for this video. This video was actually filmed a couple weeks ago. I already uploaded the surf fishing. That surf fishing video and this were actually in the same day. I just got enough content from each location that I was able to split it up in two videos because we went to Florence and Winchester in the same day. And as you saw, I took Brian 
and he got a knockout two of his first fishing on the surf and fishing off a jetty and not only did he get a fish two different locations like that but he caught fish on each spot we were at which is awesome it's always nice to help someone catch a fish that they've never seen or caught before and as you saw his reaction was amazing probably one of my favorite reactions i've seen from anyone catching a fish anyway i hope you enjoyed that video i apologize for this half attempted outro i'm filming it on my phone actually i just almost done editing this video and I want to throw an outro in because I realized I forgot to do one. Like I mentioned in the video, what we we're using to fish was just a high-low rig or a surf rig that I use for surf fishing. It's just two or three dropper loops on your main line or connected to your main line with a weight connected on the bottom and we are using shrimp, raw shrimp. And you can use cooked shrimp too or sandworms and we're just throwing it pretty close to the jetty because those greenling are actually sitting in the rocks and we're just waiting for a couple taps and you gotta muscle them out because they will dig into those rocks and those rocks will break you off. I was using about, uh, it was a six and a half foot rod and 50 pound braid main line and 14 to 30 pound uh, leader is what you want. So it's, cause it's pretty abrasive out there and you want to not break off. And a two to like four ounce weight will do it for the uh, amount of swell that was coming in and slamming against the rocks will keep you down where you want to be. Definitely want to get out one more time before it starts to get rainy out here because it gets dangerous on the jetty once it starts to rain and you don't want to slip into the ocean because that's never a good thing. So if you're out fishing on the jetty, please be careful. Watch the water. Don't get too close to the actual ocean because those swells will come up and sneak on you. That's why they call them sneaker waves because they sneak up on you. And as you see, Brian got soaked a few times and it's just safe to stay a little further up if you can. I've been mentioning in every video, I am so close to 500 subscribers. Really, really close. Please hit that sub button and get us there. It will pay off because I will start doing the giveaways and I just really love all the support. I really want to grow faster and I need your guys' help. So please hit that sub button notification bell so you know when my videos come out. I hope to catch you and some fish in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was sure a fun trip for me. Peace out. Thanks again.